It is Wednesday, November 24th, and our top news story. Today, Newfoundland and Labrador has four new confirmed cases of COVID-19. There are two cases in the Eastern Health Region and two cases in the Central Health Region. The province is also reporting its 18th death from COVID-19. There have been two new recoveries in the Central Health Region, and 2,004 people have recovered. There is currently one person in hospital. In other news, officials in Newfoundland provided an update this afternoon on the flooding washout in the southwestern portion of the province. Premier Andrew Fury said this afternoon that at this time, there is no concern about supply issues after the Trans-Canada Highway washout in western Newfoundland. Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure, Elvis Loveless, says this will not be a 48-hour fix. The following roads are closed in southwestern Newfoundland, North Branch to Tompkins, Tompkins to Cape Bray, 5 kilometers north of Cape Ray, Cape Ray to Port of Basque and vicinity, the vicinity of Port of Basque and from Port of Basque to Rose Blanche, also from Port of, Bla Port of Basque to Burnt Island. Marine Atlantic has a plan in place to move goods to the province via Argentia opposed to Channel Port of Basque. Marine Atlantic may soon be able to sail again soon, but the issue is the Trans-Canada Highway, which has washed out once the goods arrived. And the storm is still not over. There is another 100 millimeters of rain or so possible. The rain is expected to come to an end tomorrow. And finally, on Tuesday afternoon, the RNC in Cornerbrook responded to a three-vehicle collision on O'Connell Drive near Margaret Bowwater Park. There were no injuries, but the vehicles involved sustained extensive damages and were towed from the scene. Your weather forecast is coming up right after this. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet, connect to what matters. Stormy weather continues on the southwest corner of Newfoundland. This was near North Branch uh, this morning, one of the many areas where the roads are washed out. There's still several weather alerts in effect. There's uh, rainfall warnings in effect for um, Bay St. George uh, through south to Port of Bass and also for Burgio to Ramia. Uh, rainfall anywhere from 20 to, 35 mil uh, 20 to 35 millimeters, except locally 100 millimeters is possible. We'll see lesser amounts east of Ramia and uh, then in Labrador we do have uh, a couple of freezing rain warnings in effect where freezing rain is expected tonight. Uh, also there are wind warnings and wreckhouse wind warnings in effect still for uh, much of uh, the west coast. In the wreckhouse area winds may gust to 110 today through tonight and 80 to 100 km per hour gusts elsewhere for areas under the warning. So the forecast now overnight tonight in St. John's we are looking at an overnight low of 9. We are looking at some rain and fog with about 2 to 4 millimeters expected. Getting down to 10 degrees in central Newfoundland tonight with rain, uh, some showers, drizzle, and fog, 2 millimeters expected. And in Corner Brook tonight, we are going to see a further 2 millimeters of rain. The winds will be southeast 30, gusting to 70. As we take a look now at the forecast for Labrador for tomorrow, uh, it's going to be unsettled for uh, some areas, mainly looking at some snow, looking at some drizzle or some rain in uh, Happy Valley Goose Base and fog as well. And it will be cool across Western Labrador and we are looking at sunny breaks. Moving on now to the island portion of the province. As we head through tomorrow, the weather will improve somewhat, but it is still going to continue to be unsettled. Back across the West Coast, we are looking at uh, uh, drizzle and some fog and gusty winds continuing for Channel Port of Ass. As we head up through Stephenville and Cornerbrook, might see a few peaks of sunshine but uh, it will be largely overcast with a chance of showers, and we are looking at rain and fog towards St. Anthony. As we head through uh, the south coast, Buren, and through uh, central, we are looking at drizzle or some rain tomorrow. Temperatures around uh, 10 to 12 degrees, and uh, the Avalon, it will be gusty tomorrow, and we are looking at some rain or some, uh, some rain and some fog. So the forecast tomorrow in St. John's, we are looking at gusty winds. We're going to pick up about 10 to 15 millimeters of rain as well, 
Uh, winds will be coming from the southeast gusting to 70. As we head through Friday, sun and cloud with a chance of showers and uh, it will be windy. And uh, on Saturday, we are looking at a chance of showers and a high of 11. As we head into central Newfoundland tomorrow, we are looking at two millimeters of rain in Gander. We'll see some fog as well. Friday and Saturday, we are looking at a chance of some showers. And then finally in Corner Brook, we are looking at sun and cloud with a chance of showers for the next three days. Highs anywhere from 10 to 13 degrees. That is the latest news and weather forecast. Now you can check out the very latest at newfoundnews.ca.